Hello and thank you for watching another ADAS calibration video. My name is Brian and I'm with SmartSafe's Technical Support and Training Group. Today we have a 2023 Nissan Rogue and we'll be calibrating the front vehicle camera using our ADAS calibration uh, mobile frame as well as our SmartLink 801 uh, display tablet. So let's go ahead and get started. With our VCI plugged into our vehicle, we'll go ahead and start the ADAS calibration process. So we'll go ahead and start by pressing ADAS calibration. And we'll go ahead and select ADAS system scan. And we'll go ahead and generate a pre-repair report. And then we'll go ahead and select the ADAS calibration function for the front camera calibration. And using our ADAS mobile frame as our option. So the first thing we need to do is, is go ahead and plumb the uh, point A and B to determine our center line for our vehicle. So we'll start here at the front of the vehicle. So we'll take our plumb bomb, place it at the center of the vehicle here to get our center point. And I've already pretty much mapped it out already for the sake of the video. So you can see right there, that is where our center is. And we'll go ahead and place our five line laser at that point, lining up our red dot, our laser dot, making sure that our laser is also level. So we'll go ahead and go to the rear of the vehicle and find the center line at point B. Here we are at the rear of the vehicle to go ahead and find our point B for the center line. So we'll go ahead and place our plumb bomb at the center. And once again, I've, for the sake of the video, I've already pre-marked it, but we'll double check here again. And we're a little off here, so we'll fix that. And that is our point B. And we'll go ahead and place the reflector. This is the LAM0903 laser reflector pointing back towards the front of the vehicle. Moving back to the front of the vehicle, we're now going to aim our laser at the reflector that's in the back of the vehicle. So I'll place the laser to its on position. We'll use our LAM0904 auxiliary mirror so we can see the back of the, the back of the vehicle uh, reflector. So I'll go ahead and adjust that. Okay, you can see the reflector. So we'll go ahead and press the V button twice. So we'll get our cross laser this way and also this way. So we'll move on to the next step here. Next, we'll go ahead and place our L positioning bracket this will be placed at the front wheel center of the hub. And we'll be using this to make our measurements from. So moving on to the next step here, we'll go ahead and create another point along the center point here. So we'll go ahead and move this back for now. And we can place this anywhere along our center point, prefer preferably a little bit past the length of where the 
the stand, the frame will set, and that, that's gonna be at 3,000 meters, but we'll go ahead and just set it for here for now. And using the laser, we'll go ahead and mark it here. Next, we'll go ahead and take a measurement from the laser out to the L-shaped bracket. And we'll want to come out about a thousand meter, as a thousand millimeters. So we'll look for their line here. We'll place that right there. And then we'll take our measurement from here. At this point, we'll go ahead and move our five line laser from here to this position here. And then we'll line up our next point 3,000. Next, we'll move our five line laser to our point E1. Place it over here. And we'll want to line that up. Let's make sure here. One more way off. Might be helpful to use our reflector here. We can use that in the back. And then looking over here, so this will be our point C, and that's where we'll place our stand. So we'll move our stand, turn on the cross point laser, and line this up here. And this will be our starting point. So now that we have our stand positioned in the correct distance to our vehicle at 3,000 millimeters, we'll just go ahead and make sure that it's centered. And we'll go ahead and use our fine tune adjustment to make sure that we've got a straight perpendicular frame to the vehicle. So we'll go on to our next step. We'll check our bubble indicators to make sure that the stand is level. And we've got a pretty level floor here, so I'm looking at it and it's, it's, it is pretty much level. So we'll move on to our next step and lock down the casters at this point. I just bumped it, didn't I? And we'll just make sure that we've got that adjusted. All right. So next we're gonna go ahead and set the height and it calls for 1300 millimeters. 
<laughs> We're currently at 1167, so we'll go ahead and crank that up. I want to be careful not to jar it too much so that we don't knock out the uh, alignment, but we could always recheck it again before we place the target. So we're at 1300. And we'll double check that we didn't move too much here. And looks like we're good. So we'll go ahead and turn this laser off and move on to our next step. Here we're gonna go ahead and place our targets and we'll go ahead and set, turn off our center laser. And it looks like our targets are going to be the LAM0107, left and right. And we want to have those targets at a width of 360 millimeters. So we'll go ahead and check that first where we are. We're already set to 360 millimeters on both sides. And we'll grab our targets here. So here's the LAM0107. We have the model number marked clearly on the back here with the left designation, left being driver side. And this is the right side or passenger side. Okay. So we're all set to calibrate. So I will go ahead and stand behind the vehicle here and start the calibration steps. Okay, with our calibration frame all set up and we're now set to calibrate. So I'll go ahead and press on calibration. And we are asked to input uh, two values here for the uh, height of the wheel arch, both on the driver's side and the passenger. So I currently have that value already, but you would simply just take a tape measure and measure from ground to the lip of the um, wheel, wheel arch here. So we'll go ahead and input those values and it's gonna be 830. Same for the right side or passenger side. Okay, press the start. It auto aim is in progress. And we have a completed normal response. So that's a success. And we'll go ahead and hit completed. And now we're we'll be being asked to confirm uh, to save the ADAS report. We'll say OK. And we want to create a post repair report. So we'll hit the back arrow. And we'll go to ADAS system scan so that we can go ahead and clear the DTC as well as rescan and then we'll click on report to generate our post repair report so we'll change our report type to post repair we'll hit add we'll add the pre-repair along with the diagnostic scan report and then press ok and press ok on the report information and that generates our post repair report which includes both the pre-repair the diagnostic scan and the post repair. And then we'll hit save. And that completes the forward camera calibration using the ADAS mobile frame setup. We hope, we, you, we hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.